sea you are. I mean, you are under the sea. <laughs> Listen, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to look at my notes for a second. Okay. Bear with me for this question. So you are yeah. four-time nominated Oscar winner. You are a two-time Oscar nominee, right? And yet y'all are under the sea with pitchforks and tentacles. <laughs> Did Rob Marshall? What happened? See, what that's why I had to look at the notes because I wanted to get my I had to get my punchline right. So, <laughs> so what was it that Rob Marshall said to y'all to get y'all to do this this version of the Little Mermaid? What we have to ask to yeah. Rob Marshall to do We for both us. asked. We both were like, "Hello, will Rob take my call?" He had his number. I did not have Rob Marshall's number. I had to go through a guy who knew a guy that knew him and like knew Rob's mechanic. Uh, no, I point blank, I went after it and I thought, I'm not going to get it. But I did think if I don't try, I'm never, I will never forgive myself. So I said, you at least have to make, you have to make a go for it because I loved her so much. So I, I literally was like, please at least see me and can I, can I state my case? Well, you did the daggone thing and so did you. Yeah. What, so what, did, what was the phone call like between you no, and No, no, I sent him a text literally you saying if there's any chance that Kim Triton has an Spanish accent... <laughs> which I don't know, I'm here. And he said, it's funny, I was talking about you right now while I was grocery in, in the grocery shop. He was in the grocery store. Yeah. Talking mm -hmm. about texting. Do, they, about do you think Javier right? would do it? Yeah. And they said, we literally got a text yes. two miles later and we're like, that's, Javier. That's, that's just this they imagine, right there. Truly. <laughs> Okay, so speaking of which, um, KT, I'm going to call you KT. So KT, <laughs> <laughs> KT is super protective of his daughter, yet Ursula is a little salty with her niece. Having said that, do you think your kids, and knowing that little girls love this particular Disney film so much, do you think your kids are going to be looking at you some kind of way after this? Well, I know that when my kids watch the movie, they haven't seen it yet, they will go, I know that. <laughs> and they go like, oh, yeah, yeah. But they also know the part where I, I broke in tears and I say, I love you. They know that as well. Oh, how about you, Melissa? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there's parts of, of Ursula that they're going to be like, I'm not that surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and then my, my little, well, it's funny, at the end of the, they've now seen it twice, and this is the first premiere they've ever asked to go see. They've never wanted to go, and they were like, we want to go to this, we want to see it again, we want to meet Hallie, we want to meet, can we meet the king? And I'm like, please don't call him the king, his name's Javier. <laughs> but uh, they went, and both times afterwards, where they saw it, and they absolutely loved it, and my daughter was like, oh, God, when, when those eels died, Mama. And I was like, uh, I died. I, <laughs> she said, I died. When the eels died. And she goes, <laughs> I know. Me. And, I, and I, she goes, I know, but those eels were so cute. And when they died, I was like, I'm going to say it one more time. I died. <laughs> I died. And they're like, we know. <laughs> ooh, ooh, so no. I don't know. I was like, oh, they shaded you. Shaded me <laughs> hard. I was like, <laughs> but. That is hilarious. Those now, little people. Yeah, Jesus. those what little people. Those little kids, they, they're special little kids. Oh, they're yes. very special, but then they grow up to be lovely human beings. So of there's course. That. Well, I know that this was mostly filmed in a virtual world, right? Is this the first time both of you guys worked in this type of situation? No, I did parts of the Caribbean, which was pretty close to this, but the amount of detail in order to make this thing happen, that was, that, that was new for me. I, I've done, quite, like, Ghostbusters had quite a bit in it, but also I didn't have as much practical stuff. Rob, Rob really set up when you were shooting, even though, yes, it's all gonna be filled in later. Still so much of it was actually there because I think it was from their performance background and their choreography, they were like, they need to they need to really feel like they're in the room. So he did, we had rehearsal process and it was really amazing. But somehow we had so much time in it that by the time we were shooting it, I was like, I do feel like I'm there. And all my props were real. and. You know, there there was enough. He they really gave us so much help, not feeling like look at the tennis ball and <laughs> fall in love. You know, exactly. <laughs> fall in love with the tennis ball. That's yeah. hilarious. Well, I just want you to know. You know, I come from the Broadway community, and Sherry Renee Scott did Ursula on Broadway, mm -hmm. and my friend Norm Lewis did KT. They would be super proud of what you guys did on. That means a lot. That means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, I got y'all. <laughs> you got our back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us for the rest of, oh, for the rest of the tour. Stay with us for the rest of the tour. <laughs>